Hey developers, today I'm gonna look at the course that is heralded as the only web developer course that you'll ever need. It's Cold Steel's Web Developer Bootcamp. Does it live up to the hype? Let's take a look. All right, I am inside my Udemy, logged into my Udemy account here, and I have the Web Developer Bootcamp created by Colt Steel up here on the screen. And as I had mentioned, he mentions it's the only course you need to learn web development, which is a, a pretty lofty high attribute there to claim. So let's see if it lives up to that. You can see here, uh, here's the course outline. And by the way, I left a link below of my favorite Udemy courses. And I did put a link to this course in the description below. Uh, I do get a few bucks if you click on it. So I just wanna get that out of the way. I'm not sponsored by, by them at all, but I do have some affiliate links below. So if I go to course content here, and I have gone through about 87 of the 343 different items in this course. So that kind of gives you an idea of how far I've gone in. It's 43 hours worth of video, if you can believe it or not. And it has all levels. And uh, if many of you watching this may have already actually have bought this program. If you haven't, there's already 140,000 students that have, which is amazing. If you haven't bought it, uh, you are missing out. And like I said, in the description, he talks about this is the only course you need to learn web development, that 94% of my bootcamp students go to get full-time developer jobs, and that it costs him fourteen to $21,000 to create. And he doesn't use outdated technology, kind of a little hit on PHP here, no PHP or other data technologies. This cor course does not cut corners. I, I mean, for our fellow PHP developers out there, ouch. Uh, you know, I, I, I think PHP has its place, but definitely Colt is not a big fan of it, of course. And we built 13 plus projects, including gigantic production applications called Yelp Camp. No other course walks you through the creation in such a substantial application. I don't know about that. I mean, uh, it's being constantly updated. That's definitely what I see here. And he goes through what he, he goes over uh, HTML5, CS3, JavaScript, Bootstrap, jQuery, Node.js, Express, Mongo. Uh, authentication, I think a lot of web developers struggle when you hit that authentication and he does go over it. And then he has lecture slides and then he goes over what the requirements, really anybody just has internet. If you have a pulse, you could probably take this class, this course. Uh, I'm only joking, but really there's not much you need. Uh, praise yourself for stupid jokes about dog rusty. That's kind of funny. And then it tells you a whole bunch of stuff what you're gonna get out of it and your target audience. So lots of interesting stuff here. He does have a Q&A section where there, it's quite active. It looks like most people are getting responses. In fact, he has on his announcements page, uh, he's been updating the course. I mean, it's, it's a few years old for sure. And he's been updating it constantly, 22 days ago. He actually has his own TA team to go through and answer comments. And he just mentioned he, he got a new person to answer comments. You can see, you can see how extensive this is. So he's, he does take this seriously. He does answer people. He does people at, help you out on the Q and A section and the forums and things like that. So I can't really show you too much of the videos. I don't think they'll allow me to do that, but I could probably at least uh, open it up and take a look um, at some of the sections that, that are on here. So if I click on here, and so he goes over a lot of different of these sections. Uh, so what's kind of nice is he has these notes throughout. So he, he almost guesses what people are having problems with and then he'll put a note in. It's like, maybe your Chrome browser doesn't look exactly like Colts does. I mean, this is because of it. And then here's just a welcome to how you start it. And he talks about using CodeBin, JSBins, Gists. He likes Cloud9. I've noticed sometimes he uses Cloud9 and sometimes uses an IDE another IDE editor. Uh, so when he starts off, really the first, I would say the intermediate introduction to HTML, it's really basic stuff as you expect. He just teaches it in quick, usually about five, two to five minutes each videos, which is perfect for this type of content. Uh, so I think that works out really well. The introduction to JavaScript is also just kind of little small little programs that are running where he goes. Usually it's it's a bunch of slide decks. He'll go through a slide deck and then he'll show you the concept inside uh, the 
Cloud9 IDE, or he'll just have an Atom editor and he'll just be opening a, a text file and then he'll show you. So that's really good. And most of the stuff, of course, you can find, uh, he actually even recommends to use MDN and he uses that quite a bit, he references that. And so nothing too externally great out of that, but I think what what is amazing out of all these sections is that there's so many of them. I mean, you go into Ray's, he has 12 different modules, you know, like at least an hour worth. He has, of course, um, th this this course is meticulous. It has all the downloads. You can It has uh, problem sets you can do at the end of most of each sections, and you can download the answers. You can also download the problems or all the code that he went through. And some sections don't have problem sets, some sections do. And I know I went through some of these and they're just basic stuff. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong. Of course, they're 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 pretty correct. They they're they're correct, but he doesn't really go into too much advanced stuff at the beginning. Goes a little advanced DOM um, and then he goes into a project. Uh, I didn't really look too much at the intro to jQuery stuff but it, it uh, I'm sure it's fine. So it, eventually he gets to going to Node.js, so he kind of moves in from the front end to the back end at some point. Usually it looks like around, yeah, about section 22 of the of the system. He starts going to the basics of Node.js. Um, like I can't really show you the video, so but I'll pause you. it. Um, I was watching some of it at 2x because he does sometimes talk slowly and I just wanted to get through it to go through. And it's a good reference definitely for a lot of these sections. Uh, he does talk about server-side frameworks. You, you can see that maybe he went in and later on in the course he added these sections back in. So they don't quite flow perfectly, but they're self-contained uh, tutorials that he you could he could have made a, like a, a separate course on, but he just decided to kind of pop it into these different areas. Intermediate Express, uh, working with APIs. I thought this was section was kind of interesting. I watched a few of the videos. Just talking about, he like lists a, bit, a bunch of different APIs that you can connect to. Like he talks about IMDB, Reddit, a few others. Kind of explains how to connect to them and then talks about JSON APIs. Now, the what he considers probably the, the jewel of the course is this Yelp Camp Basics which is a program where he goes in and he creates like a campground database app that people can add campgrounds and then they can add in comments and he adds in authentication later and authorization and a bunch of different things. So usually by the time you get to section 26, it starts to be more like one big app, which I kind of like better then all these little tiny sections of information, which is great for reference, but it's a little bit harder to go through. And so, yeah, he goes through like, how do you create the routes and how do you do this? Uh, he kind of goes back and forth. Sometimes he'll do a section just by itself, like on databases, but then he'll tie it back into the Yelp camp overall project. Uh, he goes into restful routing, which is pretty helpful. So you can start learning about CRUD, you know, create uh, retrieve, update, delete. And then he even goes into a little bit of data associates, like has many, uh, has a one-to-one, one-to-many associations, things like that. He has a whole comment section, which is interesting. Uh, and by the way, in the database section, he talks about Mongoose. So this, the back end is mostly Express and Mongoose and MongoDB is how he does the back end there. So if you're not interested in those type of back end frameworks, I could see that this course wouldn't be that interesting to you. Like if you're on Ruby on Rails, I mean, there's no Ruby on Rails section in here. There's nothing on Phoenix. It doesn't really talk about those other, those other frameworks that are, are pretty popular out there. Kind of, kind of uh, settle on Express. Uh, he talks about RESTful routing, how to do routes, Data association. He doesn't really even go into, uh, which I I may have missed it, but he doesn't really go into Angular or React or Ember.js or Vue or none of the single page application frameworks that you might expect if you're a web developer that you might need to know. So this is all kind of built on HTML, CSS, the Express in the background, in the back end. So, but I mean, he does have a pretty good authentication 
section, uh, he uses Passport, which is a different technology to do auth uh, authentication. And he kind of tells you how to add it into the program. And he has some cleanup on it. The update and destroy, I just kind of looked at some of the things he, to do it. He was kind of, you could tell like maybe at the end he thought, oh, that's a good idea. And he added like sections in to like do cleanup and little UI improvements and let's change the middleware and let's add a flash message to the app. And kind of like it felt like a little bit like he was just trying to make the app a little bit longer. But I mean, it was helpful to have some of this information in there. And then at the end, the last three sections are kind of like, well, let's learn about Git. So just real basic introduction to Git and GitHub. Uh, then he talks about deploying. I didn't, I didn't see it, but it looks like he's using Heroku uh, to do it in MongoLab. And then he has another instructor that does, I guess he partnered up with this other instructor that does a, like a more advanced JavaScript section. And it feels, it feels a little tacked on at the end. I, I didn't think it was that great. The, the instructor was fine. I'm just saying, I didn't think it flowed well into this whole like boot camp. I guess it sort of does, but I mean, it goes into some of the more, the like intermediate JavaScript stuff that you see. You might be asked on an interview to like, what's the JavaScript apply or bind? And then he goes into object oriented programming with a new keyboard keyword and prototypes. And so th this section filled, felt a little tacked on. I think there's whole courses that are are better if you want a little bit more intermediate JavaScript. But it's nice that it's included, I guess. So yeah, so that that concludes the whole section. So that section thirty nine is is the most. But overall, you know, I I I would say if you're starting off for ten dollars, it's on sale right now. Like I said, the links are below. It's kind of a no brainer to just to get to try it out. Even though it's you know it has some of its problems here and there, it's it's well worth getting for sure. And I'm not just saying that because I have an affiliate link below and I make a couple bucks if you buy it. I'm saying because like 43 hours worth of dedicated information on becoming a web developer is is pretty amazing. I mean, that that's a lot of content for only $10 and you get a QA, Q and a section, kind of a forum where you can ask questions. I, I definitely don't think it lives up to some of the hype. Uh, oops, if we go back to the dashboard. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think in in the section here that it's the only course you'll you need to learn web development. I mean, maybe the only course you need to learn basic web development using Express and MongoDB, which in, with an HTML CSS front end. But I think obviously this you'll need to learn more to become a full stack or even just a front end developer. There's a lot more to it. I didn't see anything on like Webpack or build tools or anything like that, which you may need to learn, of course. Let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. Like Webpack, I don't, I'm trying to see if like there's anything on build tools at all and I really don't see it. He may have mentioned it in one of the sections, I just missed it. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely missing some things you, you might want to know to become a web developer for sure. So thank you for watching this review of Colt Steel's The Web Developer Bootcamp. If you like these type of videos, click that like button. And also in the comments section below, let me know what you think of this course. I know a bunch of you have already taken it. Uh, did you think it was well worth it? I think it's, it's wor worth checking out for sure. Thank you, uh, have a great day.